Kia ora kota, ko Chinzia, Mayoha, Jonathan Tokuingwa. And I'm Matteo Fabi. And here we are at Our Bubble Kitchen. We are going to cook some recipes and share it from our bubble to your bubble during this isolation time. What are you cooking today? I am cooking fried rice. Fish sauce, sweet rice wine, soy sauce, some sesame oil, and some oyster sauce. Mm -hmm. So you know, fried rice, this is our like really versatile dish. Um, we can make it from almost anything that we have in our house. Um, this time, I'm going to make it from middle bacon, but say for example, if you have some leftover chicken, some beef, some sausages, corn, anything really, you can just make it from whatever you have at home. So I've got a tip for you. Fried rice is best using rice that you have cooked from the night before. Mm, perfect, let's get cooking. Kapai meti mata tawa. So the garlic, I'm just going to crush it like this. Is this a typical uh, Indonesian recipe? Yeah, yeah, we can find it everywhere in Indonesia. There's all sorts of um, fried rice. Mm -hmm. um, there's the Indonesian fried rice with uh, sweet soy sauce. Um, there's also these ones, which is the Chinese fried rice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Actually, I've never asked you, how long have you been in New Zealand for? I've been in New Zealand for 11 years now. And how did you happen to speak Te Reo Maori? Well, that's a bit of a long story, but to make it short, Mike's mum made me do it. Mm. Uh -huh. So, um, she got cancer, sadly, but um, two days before she passed away, she did this request that she said, Oh, it would be lovely, Tinzia, if one day you can speak to the Maori. And that's when I promised her. I said, I promise you, mum, in your um, Huda Kohatsu, or like the unveiling, mm. I will be speaking the real. So, yeah, that's my... That's a beautiful story. Power, yeah, that's my fire to speak. But then now that I have my baby, I want my baby to speak Māori as well, because you know, there's not many people that speaks that language. That language is um, in, in endangered mm. um, status at the moment. And so um, it would be lovely to be able to give back to New Zealand by, you know, making sure that my next generation actually speaks the language. Of course. As of it should course. be. She, she, I can see she's growing like in a naturally Maori environment, being mm. sharing the, my life in the bubble with you. At the beginning, I learned from Te Wananga o Raukawa, mm -hmm. and then I learned from uh, Te Wananga o Aotearoa, and then the last one I learned from Anahahini. He runs a class here called Kotihiro. In town, eh? In town, yeah. Yeah, I'm still learning at the moment. Um, yeah, you know, just from talking with friends, reading books, just keep using it. I heard that uh, Rotorua is now the Maori capital of New Zealand. Indeed. That certainly helps, right. doesn't it? And I'm very lucky to be living here. So am I now, in your bubble. <laughs> now that the veggies are chopped up, let's head to the pan. Let's go. Sweet. We're just going to start with the oil. This is rice bran oil. You can use quite a lot of oil in this one. Dotahi tunua ngaheki. Kateriahe tōte. Te pepa. Pakaranumia ngaheki. Here's the tip for you to check if the oil is ready or not. Use a wooden chopstick and put it in the oil. If it sizzles, it's ready. So we're just frying the egg now. So the egg here is just giving you a little filler for the fried rice. Cool. Put it aside. Mai te newa, ka te reake te tunukai. Ka pai. Tuarua, ka tunuau i ngā pekana. Okay, there goes the carrots. And the frozen peas. The bacon smells good. Mmm, yum. Cool, now we're just going to put this aside on another plate so we can mix it again later to the rice. Otherwise, we're just going to be overcooking the veggies and we don't want that. Okay. Now we are just going to use the oil that we used before to cook the bacon because it smells nice, it tastes nice. And we're just going to put some butter. Sweet. First thing, I like to always cook the ginger first so that it infuse and then I'm going to put in the onions Woo! and there goes the garlic and so now that the garlic and the onions are cooked we are going to put 
the rice in. There we go. The key for a non-stick um, fried rice is, of course, the pan. And you have to use quite a lot of oil and high heat. Otherwise, the rice is just going to stick to your pan. And make sure you always um, flip the rice like this. Just keep flipping, keep flipping. Now when the oil is nicely distributed, put some fish sauce in the middle, like that, followed by rice wine. This is the secret ingredient. Cool. Next one, we're going to add the soy sauce. Just add it around like that. Just some. And oyster sauce. All right, so be careful because the soy sauce and the oyster sauce is pretty salty already. See how the soy sauce has made the rice darker? Okay, now that the rice is almost ready, let's add the rest of the ingredient in. Right. Woo I'm just gonna cut long strips like this. I'm putting the egg last so that it doesn't mix too much. As my last tip, remove it from the heat and add some sesame oil. You don't need much, just a little tiny bit like that. That's enough. Mix it a bit. Right, and it's ready to serve. Awesome. And I'll just add some bacon on top too. Yum. Can I have a taste? Sure. Oh, let me get my bowl. Mm -hmm. I'll have some too. How do you say enjoy your meal in Tere? Kia pai te kai. Kia pai te kai. Mmm. Kia pai. Yummy. Yummy. Chinsa's fried rice. I love it. That's the one. That's our recipe from today. From our bubble to your bubble. Kia haumaru te noho taratahi. Kia ora.